everyone, Fez from Crypto Setups here and today's DeFi tutorial is brought to you by Icon Plus. Today I'm going to show you how to use the balance protocol. Please keep in mind this is a prototype that is currently hosted on the website, on the balance website and everything I show you today is strictly educational purposes, it is not financial advice. There are certain components that may not work as planned because again this is the prototype and that is to be expected. But I'm really trying to build this preview to show you what this protocol is going to enable and, and how you can use it. So what is the balance protocol? The balance protocol is basically a protocol where you can lock up your ICX as collateral and mint different assets. The first asset it's going to allow you to mint is the American dollar USD. So what it does is it locks your ICX and then you can mint a certain amount of USD based on how much you've locked away. So that's what I'm going to show you and I'm going to show you what all the different parts mean and how overall it, it works together. So let's dive in. As you can see over here this is the landing page It's connected to my wallet and uh, the first thing you would do is you would have to deposit collateral which is ICX. So to use the protocol you would have to have ICX that is unstaked. You couldn't deposit staked ICX to it. Um, so here you go as you can see I have 15,000 ICX sitting in my wallet and uh, what I'm going to do for the purpose of this example I'm going to deposit it all. So as soon as I deposit it what it does is it deposits the 15,000 ICX which it then stakes at the same time. So that is one of the perks of the protocol as well. You don't just have to give up, you, you offer your ICX as collateral but you don't give up your staking rewards, you still get your staking rewards. So I'll click that through, great nothing's changed. So the next step is now I've deposited this and I want to borrow. So what's changed here is you can see based on my 15,000 ICX it's allowing me to borrow uh, 3,188 USD. So let me click on borrow and drag this across. As soon as I've started to drag it you can see a whole lot of information has appeared. So I'm going to take you through what each of this means. So first thing when we loaded it up with this new portion what it is showing is position details. Now for the purpose of this prototype you can see that the current ICX price is at 85 cents. So based on this I've deposited 15,000 ICX and it's telling me that I have uh, which is valued at 12,750 based on this price. I cannot take a loan out for that amount what I can do though is take a loan amount for 3188 the protocol is designed to be over collateralized okay so it is not one for one it is in fact you have to have 500 percent um, uh, so if it was valued at uh, one dollar to keep it simple you'd have to have five ICX to mint one US dollar so that if there was you know slippage of the price there's enough to compensate and I'll talk through that in, in moving forward. So in this example it's based on 85 cents and we have uh, this is my total amount the loan I can take. Now up here you saw me adjusting this and when I adjust this you can see some of the information changes so I'm gonna leave this over here I'm not gonna click confirm I wanna talk through what you're looking at. So the risk ratio as you know part of the protocol is you if when you use it you will mine the balance token which is the governance token for the balance protocol. The governance token gives you a few things. Two of the biggest things is the right to vote on future, future changes and profit sharing. So a portion of the fees that come through from opening and closing positions and the AMM that is going to be available, the DEX, the trading platform that you can see here, those fees get put aside for balance holders. And the only way you can mint balance or acquired is by actually using the platform and it's not just by depositing collateral you have to borrow and then you can also on top of that to earn further rewards add liquidity to the uh, trading AMM. So currently if I were to borrow 
dollars on my 15,000 ICX that I've deposited as collateral. What this is telling me in the explanation I just gave around the balance token is if the ICX price were to drop down from 85 cents all the way down past 57 cents lower, I would stop at 57 point, uh, at point 0.5760 cents, I would stop earning the balance token. And, and to give you an example, obviously this would always change based on price, but to really just show, bring it home, if I were here currently based on 85 cents and I had taken a position out of 2,673, you can see that I am past the reward threshold. So my funds, my total ICX is completely safe, but this is telling me that I would not be earning the balance token on this particular loan or if I was in this state. So it's extremely important, especially if you're using the protocol to mine balance and you want to have a stake in the protocol, you always keep your ratio under this so that you can also uh, factor in any price changes. Because what this is also telling me is if in this particular example, I know again, scrolling through, at, if I were to take all of that, not only would I not um, not earn any balance tokens until the ICX price went to a dollar six, but it's also going to lock my collateral when it hits 85 cents. And the only way to unlock it is I would have to pay off my debt to bring it down. So in this example, again, talking through it, as you can see, if I was hypothetically paying off my debt to lower the loan, straight away, everything starts changing. And you can see that I'm all of a sudden will start earning rewards and my collateral is unlocked. Now, this liquidated field, remember one of the things is the loans are over collateralized by 500%. When we get to collateral locked, it locks it at 400%. It doesn't liquidate and liquidate would mean liquidate your ICX to pay the debt you've taken. It doesn't do that till 150%. Now, they have built in a huge buffer here to ensure that people, well, aren't taking and shouldn't be taking such a big risk, but ensured something is built in in case someone was in that position. Ultimately, it is you and up to you to manage your risk. So, I hope that has given clarity. Uh, it is a, I had gone over how to explain it, but, but it is an excellent visual representation, keeping it very simple. So, coming back to start, I've deposited, I want to take out, you know, to be safe, I don't want to have my underlying collateral at risk at any point in time, so I'm going to say, I'm going to take it out so that um, I'm going to take out 1,700 based on this, because what it's telling me is my collateral wouldn't get locked till if the ICX price dropped to 46 cents based on the current value in the prototype, which is 85 cents. I'm, I'm happy with that, so I'm going to hit confirm. Now you can see that the first thing is it charges a fee that is already deducted based on the prototype at the moment. And this is where this protocol differs to a lot of the other protocols is it charges an upfront fee to take out the loan and it charges a small fee to pay off the loan. That's it. You do not have to pay an interest rate for the loan. Okay. So that's a key differentiator to make a DAO or synthetics or some of the other platforms that exist in Ethereum. So I'm going to click borrow and here you go. I have borrowed it. I have explained to you in detail over here using the live example. Um, you can see once I borrowed, this is an example again, I've got now my US dollars in here, which is the balanced USD. That's why it has a BN. and I, based on the loan, it's going to be an example, I've got this much balance. Will that happen instantly? Uh, I, every day um, there's a distribution process for the balance token, which is for the first 60 days, I believe 100,000 tokens will be minted and distributed based on the proportions in the white paper. In this case, now you as a balance holder, you've earned balance, you don't get those fees that I talked about earlier. You have to stake it first to then ensure you get um, the, the fees that the platform will get via uh, borrowing and 
adding liquidity to the AMM. I'm not going to go through in this video the AMM, I just wanted to keep it simple and talk through this, uh, the borrowing and, and uh, interface and I wanted to talk through what these figures meant. So in staking you can see nothing's changed here when I stake but that that's a very quick summary of the prototype and how the protocol will work. I hope if you have explored the prototype and weren't sure this video has shed some light um, key points to take away is when you add collateral, yes your ICX is staked so you're still earning your staking rewards. There is no interest to take out the loan apart for the fees you pay from initiating and closing the loan. And then the most important part is your risk ratio. You know, you, you want to ensure that you have over collateralized your loan um, enough that you, you don't face any risk to your underlying asset. So in this example you can clearly see that I would the price would have to drop to 46 cents for my collateral to get locked but I'd still have considerable buffer um, to so that I could uh, if I wanted to bring this up I could add more collateral or pay off my debt. Okay? Once again if you like the content and um, you know uh, appreciate <laughs> what I'm doing give, click subscribe and uh, let me know if you have any questions as a small glimpse of what this protocol is capable of currently the collateral you use to you mint the USD is ICX and all you can do is mint USD but that's not how this protocol is being designed just for USD it's actually been designed to mint any potential asset in the real world or in the crypto space by using ICX to back it its underlying value so in the future the DAO could vote in that you know what we're going to mint with ICX we're going to mint BTC or ETH or gold or oil I mean you can see right there how it increases the possibility so all of a sudden we're able to chain to trade cross-chain assets we're able to get real-world assets onto ICON all via this protocol so thanks for watching everyone and I will I will hope to have on the day that the protocol is released a more thorough live video using the protocol including the AMM and everything that goes along with it.